President Trump weighing a proposal to bus immigrant detainees to sanctuary cities, triggering a Twitter battle between the president and Oakland, California mayor Libby Schaff. Some might recall the Democrat made headlines back in February after warning that Northern California residents, uh, she told them about an impending ICE raid. This all comes as monthly apprehensions hit a 12-year high along the U.S.-Mexico border. Joining me right now is South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham. He is the chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee. He is a member of the Appropriations, Foreign Relations, and Budget Committees. And Senator, it is always a pleasure and honor to have you on the program. Welcome. Thank you. Let's talk about the border crisis first off, uh, because we have news this week. In fact, President Trump's acting defense secretary says that more support from the U.S. military will be headed to the southern border. Patrick Shanahan would not say how many more troops would, need, would be needed to assist the Department of Homeland Security, but they are headed there as we are looking at one million apprehensions this year. What's your reaction? Right. Well, three weeks ago, the Democrats were saying this was a manufactured crisis. Now they don't want these folks dropped off in Oakland or San Francisco. So the good news for the country is that both parties see this as a real crisis. If I were the president, I'd send military troops to the border as soon as I could in large numbers. But we're never going to stop this by just having walls and troops at the border. We have to change our laws so these people stop coming. There's a narrative in Central America that if you can get to America with a minor child, you will never get deported, and we have to change that storyline. Yeah, I think this is a really important point that you make, which is why I want to get to the breaking news right now, which I know that you are going to deliver. You are on recess right now, but when you come back to Washington, you are planning to put together proposals to change the law. Can you tell us about that, sir? Yeah, I'm tired of talking about this problem. I want to fix it. I think all Americans should want both parties to fix this problem. The president has correctly identified uh, the crisis at the border. Now it's time to have a legislative solution. You need to change our laws for this to stop. So I'll be introducing a package and hopefully with Democratic support that will change our asylum laws. 90% of the people who apply for asylum never make it, so the standard needs to change. We have a court decision called the Flores decision that says you can only hold a minor child 20 days. If a family comes here with a minor child, we release the entire family after 20 days because we don't have bed space, so we need to change that decision. And also we have a quirk in our law that if you're from Central America, you cannot be sent back home as a minor child because of a law on the books that prohibits uh, sending children back from non-contiguous countries. So the only place that we can send a child back to is Mexico and Canada. We need to be sending these kids back to Central America where they come from. So I'm going to put a legislative package together right after the break. We're going to mark it up in the Judiciary Committee and we're going to get on with solving this problem. All right, so you're going to put this legislative package together, then you're going to bring it to a vote. That gets everybody on board and we know where people right. voted, and so it will be on the record in terms of who stands where. Yeah, I hope we do, do more than just vote. I hope we solve the problem. Uh, the administration is going around Congress talking to Democrats about what they want. Uh, <clears throat> if we do change the laws, what would they like in return? I'm going to try to find a compromise here. The president's a great deal maker. But doing what we're doing is not working. Uh, the crisis has to come to, to an end. And the only way to bring it to an end is to change our laws. And I will be introducing the package to change the laws that attract so many legal immigrants from Central America. And hopefully we'll get some Democratic support. So tell us about the, these three issues that are most important that you're going to affect change. There's the Flores decision, okay. uh, there's TVPRA, right. and then asylum uh, standards. Can you walk us through right. why okay. we have these laws on the books? Number one, we're part of the uh, International Asylum Treaty that gives people asylum when they're under uh, you know, threat of life and limb. Under international law, you're supposed to apply for asylum in the first safe country you go to, which would be Mexico if you're from Honduras, Guatemala, or El Salvador. So the president's putting pressure on Mexico to stop these uh, uh, caravans. But if you get one foot in the United States and you read a card claiming asylum, you're entitled to a hearing. We don't have bed space to hold you until that hearing date, so we release you into the country and people never come back for the hearing. So let's toughen up our asylum standard. 
If 90% are failing to meet the standard, the standard needs to change. So that's number one. Number two, the Flores decision needs to change. It's impossible to do a hearing in 20 days. So we're going to try to uh, change the time. You can hold a unaccompanied minor or a minor child beyond 20 days because if you come up with a family and you've got minor kids in the family, we release the whole family in 20 days because you don't want to separate families. So we need to fix the Flores decision. Finally, there's a quirk in the law that if you're from Central America as a minor child, we can't send you back. We need to change that law so we can send them back to Central America where they came from. Yeah, we're looking at a map right now of these triangle countries, Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras. And, and the immigration flow has really changed, Senator. Walk us through that. Is it true yes. that now 70% of the people that are showing up at our borders are coming from this triangle group of countries? Yes, because the word is out on the street in these countries that if you bring a minor child with you, you're never going to get deported. Because, again, let's walk this through. A minor child can only be held for 20 days under our law, the Flores decision. If a family of four comes, a mother and father and two minor children, we have to release the kids within 20 days. If you don't want to separate the families, that means you release the mom and the dad and they never show up for the hearing. We don't have bed space to detain them until their hearing date. So that's a problem. Everybody in Central America knows if you come to, to the United States and set one foot on American soil and claim asylum, you're entitled to a hearing. We don't have enough bed space to hold you. We don't have enough uh, asylum judges, immigration judges. Hearings take two or three years. You're let go and they never show up. So words out from Central America. America, if you get here with a minor child or claim asylum, you're going to stay, and we need to change that narrative. Unbelievable. So, Senator, what's the timing on this? You're going to come back from recess. You're going to be putting this legislation together. You're going to sit with the White House to get to, to see where yes. they are on this. Can you, t can you tell us when this, we should expect this legislative package? We're working on it as I speak over the break with the White House. I've got to get a package that will deter people from Central America from continuing to come, change our asylum laws, make sure you have more than 20 days to deal with an unaccompanied minor, and you can send people back to Central America. It's got to be a bill the president will sign. Once we get agreement between myself and the White House and Senator Johnson, the Homeland Security Chairman, who has some jurisdiction here, we'll put together a package, we'll sit down with our Democratic colleagues and try to figure out a deal that will stop this madness. We need troops at the border, we need a wall, but there is no way you're going to stop the flow from Central America until you change our laws. And these laws are insane. We need to change them.